Hey travelers, adventurers, and vacationers alike, Derek here from Mark Wahlberg Airstream and RV. Um, beautiful sunny day in March in Ohio means it's time to get outside and shoot some walkthrough videos. And I thought what a better time than now to give the whole lineup of the teardrop campers from New Camp. We've seen some great improvements in 2024 with the new Black Canyon edition that's bringing in uh, more solar, more lithium batteries, bigger inverters, just what everybody's been asking for. So when we are boondocking dry camp in there, they're ready to perform. So uh, I thought, why not better have them lined up? I got uh, big, medium, and small. I'll go through some details, maybe some ideas on the different vehicles that could tow these. Um, as always, check out the link below. You're gonna find a direct contact to me. So if you have any questions about uh, how to use these, what it takes to tow them, or how to get a great deal, uh, please feel free to reach out. And also too, don't forget to check Mark Wahlberg VU. This is a game changer as far as a way to check out some of our great inventory from the comfort of your home, explore them before coming to the lot to see them in person. So click through that, let us know what questions you have. Let's go. Starting out with the tag, this 13 foot seven inch teardrop camper is available in both a six foot 10 inch or a seven foot 10 inch version referred to as the XL. What we're looking at here is an XL boondock. This is a 2023 model. I uh, love the running boards on the side of the boondock. Those are walkable, so you can easily access the Yakima roof rack up there. Boondock has a little bit more ground clearance than your standard or uh, classic model. This one does have the optional microwave in it. They're all going to have a standard two burner stovetop with the sink. We also now have the option of adding the Black Canyon Edition package to it. That's going to add an additional 120 watt solar panel, water heater, holding tank heater, underglow lights, and a trifold multifunctional mattress. And then take it a step further and add the lithium battery upgrade with the Battleborn batteries. That's two 100 amp hour, so a total of 200 amp hour, 12 volt lithium battery with internal heaters, plus a 2000 watt multi plus inverter charger. These are campers that are easy to go boondocking with, but most importantly, some of the lightest weight campers in a classic form that can be as light as 1,341 pounds and an XL like this one, and it's gonna weigh in around 1,622 pounds. All these trailers have electric brakes, air conditioning, and can be equipped with electric heaters as well. Moving on to the medium sized one in the pack, a Tab 320S that we have here is a 15 foot, six inch long teardrop trailer that's six foot, nine inches wide and has an exterior height of eight foot at the top. Your Tab 320 is gonna come with your cassette style toilet inside your wet bath. So there's a shower function in this as well as the toilet. Heat and hot water is provided by the dual fuel Aldi system. That's a hydronic micro boiler. 12 volt TVs, optional microwave, and a king size bed when everything's laid down. Love the windows in this open up very wide. Have both the bug screen and privacy screen. But if a rainy day comes, it's not hard to flip this into a nice seating area. You have a lagoon table that can go onto that bracket right in the middle there. And it can also be put on the outside. This is a Black Canyon edition, so this has the additional solar on it, along with the nice lift kit, that aluminum rack on the front there. Going from a 320, you step into a 400. This is the largest teardrop they offer right now. Coming in at 18 foot, three inches long, seven foot, eight inches wide, and an exterior height of eight foot, 11 inches. The primary sleeping area is 55 by 79. The secondary uh, dinette turned down is 31 by 74. And the optional bunk is 22 by 66. So this unit can sleep up to a family of four. Interior height is 79 inches. Fresh water is 25 gallons. Gray water is 18 gallons. And black water is a tank at 16 gallons. Tongue weight on this ends up being about 400 pounds. And the Dry weight is 2,911 pounds. The standard convenience package is gonna equip you with a 310 watt solar panel, an external solar port, an intelligent battery disconnect converter, 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium battery with a 1200 watt power inverter. And that also comes with a Bluetooth battery monitor spark shunt. 
This unit here is the optional Boondock Black Canyon. So this adds another 310 watt solar panel, holding tank heaters and underglow lights. We can get even more extreme with our ultimate boondocking package and put the lithium battery upgrade on this as well. That's going to add a 400 amp hour 12 volt lithium battery bank with internal heaters and a 3000 watt multi plus inverter charger. We now have a mount on the outside so we can easily move our dinette lagoon table outside for additional tables and counter space. Windows on the 400 are wonderful, have both privacy screens and bug screens and open quite wide forming their own awnings. The restrooms in the 400 are quite roomy. They are a wet lab with a shower curtain to help protect the water from splashing on everything else. You do get your own ventilation in the restroom separate from the fantastic vent fan that has three speeds to it. You'll find plenty of storage space here in the galley great example of all the wood used in this lack of particle board find plenty of wood screws dowel rods dovetailing on the drawers what you won't find is a whole lot of staples wonderful little bag that comes with your new camp plenty of storage for a couple to go out on a road for a nice long loop around the u.s i think and I do believe for two people looking for something that's under 3,000 pounds, this might be one of our best options. Constantly see people out having a great time with these 400s. They usually report back that they tow great, they're easy to set up, and they offer that nice separation and where someone can stay in bed and sleep in a little bit and have that dinette up front where somebody else could be working away while the other person rests. Fun little clothes hook hanger there. You do have a Froley system underneath the mattress for good air circulation. 12 volt TV so we don't need to run the inverter for a TV time. And of course our standard little microwave that is optional. It turns into storage if you don't get that. So great camper for your medium sized SUV, Subaru Accents, Toyota Highlanders, Kia Telluride. Um, and of course, all your small and medium pickup trucks easily tow a 400. So what do you think? Three campers each have their own benefits and fit in their own little slot as far as what a customer is looking for to get out of a camper. But I think New Camp can be said that they have a lot of bases covered here, whether you're a, a couple or maybe a family, small family, uh, they kind of have a camper for you. but. The biggest thing about them, at least I, I have found in my years of the RV business, is New Camp definitely stands out as far as quality. Uh, the craftsmanship, the materials they use, also after purchase support. Uh, when it comes to campers, uh, it can't be understated. Plenty of opportunity for service and upkeep, but over the years I've definitely seen New Camp deliver to their customers um, a product and a service that uh, that's just re always resoundingly a positive experience for most of my customers. They're not the cheapest thing out there. You know, I constantly deal with uh, price objections on these. Uh, why are they so expensive? They're so small, why are they so expensive? And uh, I think uh, it's hard for some people to get through their heads. And sometimes size doesn't always equate to price. It's really the materials, how they build it, um, how they service them. It's a lot of things there. So. Uh, Always love to explore options, love to hear your thoughts and comments, so please feel free to leave a comment below. I try to read them all and respond. Uh, love talking campers. Spring is here, time to get ready, get dewinterized, and uh, let's go on that adventure. See you guys later.